Hey guys, it's John and welcome to my playthrough of Poppy Playtime. This is a $5 game on Steam. Just came out four days ago and I don't think that I've ever had... Well, it has been a long time since I've had as many requests in such a short span of time to play something. And I'm actually on it! Semi on time for once. Although, I'm also aware that some of you have, like, impossible standards. You're probably gonna say, Oh, he finally is playing it. About time. Yeah, well, I'm sorry. I guess I just have more going on than you, okay? Anyway, um, <laughs> Poppy Playtime. I've heard good things about it. It definitely does look like a trendy YouTube horror game. It's been a while since we've had one of those. The last one that we had was Baldi's Basics, maybe? I don't know. There's probably one I'm forgetting in between. It's got a uh, cute slash horrifying furry mascot, so we're already in the clear for the kiddos to love this one. Before we get into it, here's a little fun fact. It's been a while since I've done this. Um, the typeface there at the bottom, that's called VCR OSD Mono. And one of the reasons I know it is because I use it for my VHS flashback edits whenever I do those. You may also recognize it because it is in a game called Among Us. Anytime you see the words imposter or crewmate or anything on the loading screen, that's done in the same font. It's 100% free to use, by the way, for both personal and commercial use, which is why it's so often seen. So there you go. There's a little, that's a little fun fact for you. Let's go ahead and hit play. All the kids have already clicked off the video because I wasn't going fast enough for them. Uh, chapter one, a tight squeeze. As an ex-employee of Playtime Co., you finally return to the factory many years after everybody within disappeared. Okay. I gotta say, I'm impressed by this game's production quality. Just overall, just based on the menu music and the loading screen music and the loading screen visual. It's all very high production. I like. You are about to see the most incredible doll ever invented. I doubt Her that. Her name is Poppy, and she is the first truly intelligent doll in the world. Why are you so serious? A girl can talk to her. Poppy gives her answers. She is the first doll actually able to have a conversation with a child. Hard to believe. Just watch. What do we want that? I think would be my question. Poppy Playtime! Poppy's as we love oh, that's as a Poppy. real girl. And she talks like one too. Hi, my name is Poppy. I love you. Can you help me polish my shoes? Why, of course, Poppy. Just like <laughs> a real girl, Poppy always wants to look her best. Perfect. Thank you. Her hair is sturdy and won't come out when you brush it and smells just like a poppy flower. Is there anything else you'd like to say, Poppy? I'm a real girl, just like you. What's no, the time? don't Play like time! that. And if you've That's not coming in my house. How all of the nation's favorite toys were created, Playtime Co. is now offering oh, factory no. <laughs> tours at just two ninety nine a person. No, An I hate this. hour in the most magical toy factory <laughs> no, on earth. No, exactly. What are you waiting They're for? shaking their heads Come too. The no. We can Why is it a flower? Poppy Playtime. That's another font I recognize, the Playtime. I didn't even notice it. it. I'm not gonna identify that one though because there's like a million that look exactly like it, that look like chalk. Everyone thinks the staff disappeared 10 years ago. We're still here. Find the flower. Really? I like the yellow VHS right there. It was always cool whenever they colored the VHS tapes. Here I am. Okay, who am I, by the way? <laughs> Why am I interested in this? I am getting insane Bendy and the Ink Machine vibes from this, by the way. Like, I... it's... It's almost... it's almost too close to Bendy and the Ink Machine. Episode 1. Lathe Pierre closing. Can I pick this up? Oh! Yeah, I can view items, okay. By the way, I guess I'm over here now. Um, I started in the other corner, but that's where everything is. So what do I... I'd love to see it. Can I see it? Do I have to find a VCR to play it in? I just kind of wanted to look at the tape, though. 
The the mouse is inside the computer. That's probably not supposed to happen. E to interact. Oh. So it's a four color code. Got it. Poppy wants to play. Hmm. I don't know if I do. I think maybe I'm good. There's something, I hear some like... Okay, first of all, broken glass here. I hear some like digging, or what is that? Where is it coming from? What is that sound? That is gonna drive me crazy. Oh my. Can I turn it off? Can we rob the cash register? That might make the trip worth its while. Candy Cat. Wow, they have so... They have so many merchandise ready mascots in this game, I can't help but notice. Huggy. Perfect for all ages. I think this might be the guy that we saw on the menu. Huggy. Don't think I want to get hugged. By anyone. Much less you. Playtime Co. Cafeteria recommends a daily intake of four thousand calories? Four thousand. That is a lot. That's too many. Okay, let's play the tape. Here we go. Hi, my name is Late Pierre, and I'm the head of innovation here at the Playtime Co. Toy Factory. If you're seeing this, then you're trespassing. Yeah, we play this little tape on loop whenever we close the factory for the day. So, trespasser, just to make you aware, while we pride ourselves primarily on our high-quality toys and excellent child care, we also pride ourselves on our security. For example, this facility is full of hidden motion triggers, which, once set off, will turn on the factory's emergency alarms and directly contact the authorities. And that's one of the more tame aspects of our security system. No spoilers. So, you've got my warning. It's not too late to turn around. I just hope that you're certain whatever you're doing is worth it. Uh, it can I turn this off? Power. I don't want it to play on loop. Can I, can I just, yeah, I got in. Yeah, the shutters are up though. Okay, there's a hand symbol here. Do I have to, <laughs> I have to find like a amputated hand maybe? Hmm, green, pink, yellow, red. This is actually, this is like the only thing that's even doing anything in any of these rooms, so. This is a green, pink, yellow, red. I think, we'll, we'll, yeah. That is it. Oh, okay, good. Solved my first puzzle. I was screaming at my screen that it was obviously the train. And he didn't get it for like forever. Okay, let's put it in here. Let's see what this is. See, I say it so you don't have to. That's the idea. But you'll say it anyway, won't you? Grab pack. Tighten the straps. Oh, is that is that this thing? Hold both cannons. Oh. Okay, that's cool. Do not fire at co-worker. Oh, he ripped his head off. Wire is conductive, used for rewiring. Oh, we need this to get the, the main door open. Can I have this? Yeah, yeah. What's the time? Play time. You know, some of us have to work every now and then. Oh, I picked it up, okay. That is really cool. Hold down to pull objects. So like, for example, this chair. That is insanely cool. <laughs> That's really fun. That is awesome. Wow. Who made this game? There's no way this is a solo dev. I'll have to look into that. If it is, I'm very, very impressed. I'm impressed otherwise too, but. Oh my God. Hello. 
Oh, uh, my wife would hate this game. <laughs> this is like her exact phobia. <laughs> Time for people in the comments to be like, wife? Yeah, I got married over a year ago. None of you guys know because you don't follow me on social media. I get it. You'll never make a Twitter, etc., etc. You've told me, you've told me. If you don't want to keep up with my life, that's fine. But don't act shocked when I tell you a big, major development in a video. Well, I had no idea. I had no idea because I wasn't paying attention. Right? Okay, a key just... Okay, how did that happen? I heard, I heard something tumble down like a key. I gotta take I gotta take a second off from roasting you guys. Right, but I need to get Oh, so I've only got one half of the power pack or whatever. Ew. Is it okay that I took that? Are you okay with that? Don't turn and look at me. Is it right here? I did it. Staff only. Well, we'll see about that. Remember, do be kind to others, show up on time, do not hide behind doors to scare Lathe Pierre. Ha ha ha, funny. Don't stay past 8 p.m., don't misuse company time, don't tamper with machinery, or enter Innovation Wing without authorization. Well, I'm gonna be doing all of that. I'm gonna be doing all four of those don'ts. I'm, I'm, what am I, I'm like, I'm like two out of four right now. High voltage. Are these rubber gloves? Oh, I know they're, they're conductive actually. What did I just do? I did it. Uh, grab to divert power. Ah, I see. But I need the other, I need the other hand in order to actually divert it. Oh, how long is this thing? This is super long, dude. That's what you do. That is really cool. So we've powered everything up. Okay, I got it. I am still blown away that John's married and he didn't tell us. Uh-oh. It's gone. Huggy. Let me in here, I guess. Make a friend. Candy cat. Yum eat. Oh, we're gonna have to. <laughs> we're gonna. Ooh, uh oh. Uh oh. Staff only. Stairway to hell. Oh, God. Okay. Well. <laughs> What is this blue river? Is this one of Huggy's arms? That's what that is, isn't it? Wow, okay. We gotta get a yellow VHS tape for this. Um, I guess I'll go, I guess I'll go up here, right? Remember to take breaks. Oh, I thought it was gonna, Breaks no longer than ten. Breaks longer than ten per minutes are not permitted. There it is. I was about to say that's not that's not dystopian enough. You need to like we need to we need to incorporate piss bottles into this scenario, or else it's not an evil corporation. All right, what am I doing? Red, blue, yellow, green. Do I press something? Oh, uh, what did I just do? Okay, so it's like a power pack of some kind. Do I just... Okay, I just fell down. Open this, please. Thanks. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, we're good. And in this... I need to get this, please. Okay. Let's just go put that up before I forget. I think it was the green one. 
Although I'm not sure that the color coding matters. Does it? Well, if it does, I'm, I'm getting them right so far. Okay, see, here's a red one. Nice. I wonder if there's any collectibles in this game. If there are, I don't know... I don't know where they are. Or what they would even be. Seems like everything that you interact with so far that you can collect is necessary to move on. Okay, we just need a yellow one now. Where's that? Ew! <laughs> That's where you belong, in the bin. Oh! Oh! It's up there! Alright. Well, we got the last one. Oh! That's for the red arm! Give it to me! Give it to me, I'm ready! I'll even grab it. Wait, wait, I'm gonna grab it from here. It won't let me. Okay. Now we have a true power. Okay. Hell yeah! Let's go. I know you said I wasn't supposed to go in here, but that just made it even more interesting. Grab to complete circuit. Okay. Wait, okay. It won't let me do it. Do I need to go do something else first? Maybe that has to be powered. Ah, okay, no problem. Got it. Okay. That's what you do. And then... Okay. Took me a second on that one to figure it out. I want to get off of Mr. Bones' wild ride. Okay. Why are you giving me all this trash? I hope I'm not supposed to be interacting with that at all. Hello? Caution, do not enter. Well, I'm gonna be doing that probably. <laughs> Adopt an orphan today? Nobody leaves without a toy. Why does Huggy's arms have to be so long? I don't like that. Needs power. Our founder, Elliot Ludwig, was a visionary. He set the stage for all of Playtime Co.'s greatest feats. Yet, of all the amazing things that he created, the Make a Friend machine is one of the most creative, impressive, and advanced. It is solely responsible for nearly every Playtime Company toy sold on the market to this day. All it needs is to be fed the proper parts, and it will then paint, assemble, and do a quality inspection of the toy all on its own. Gone is the need for complex sorting or back-breaking labor. This machine can do all that and more! Needs power, though. Needs power. Interesting. You know, I never got that yellow... Uh... Okay. I never got that yellow VHS tape. I guess that was optional. Well, I'm sure if it's that important to you, you can just look up... Someone else that did it. Oh, hey, stairs. Maybe we go up here first? It does need power, after all. Ooh, pink VCR for a pink videotape. Oh my god. Thank you. Power. Alright, um... Now with that said...
Yeah, see that's not quite enough. So then what you would need to do is you need to go past this. Right? But then where's... Well, okay, you'd have to go this way. Oh, but we're done. Well, probably we'd have to go this way then. And then this way? And then, yeah, cool. This kind of reminds me of Portal. It's like Portal plus Bendy and the Ink Machine is what this game is reminding me of so far. Uh, okay, so everything, now is there any fall damage? Let's find out. <gasps> nah, we're good. If it sounded like some bones broke, but <laughs> we're okay, I think. Are we a toy? I'm a toy, too. Oh my god. Am I making a friend right now? Okay. Are you gonna make my friend? Okay, here they are. Okay, so they're painted? Is this thing gonna be alive? Hmm. Little uh, tiger insect thing. Is it gonna be alive? Is it gonna, is it gonna become conscious and then just say, kill me? I don't know if I want that on my conscience. Uh oh, here it comes. My creation that I had almost no input on at all. Look, yeah, it is like an insect. It's got antennae and uh, wings. Very nice. Now I have it. <laughs> it's under item. I wish I could pull it out. So now what? Oh, now I put it in, now I put it here. Nobody leaves without a friend. Or without a toy. It's weird, you call them friends here and then you call it a toy later. Come on. Staff only. Yeah, I don't pay attention to that. What the? Oh. Hey, Huggy. Oh, he stoops down like Lady Dimitrescu. Look at him. Look at him. I'm getting in here. So long, sucker! So long, sucker. <laughs> oh my god. How did you get over there so fast? Huggy knows. Oh my god. Oh my god, what the fuck? <laughs> oh no! That was crazy! I love the animations on that thing. Don't let them inside. What do you mean inside? Okay, that was unexpected. That was fun. The animations on that thing when it was crawling through the conveyor belt, jeez. Okay, here we go. Yeah, look at him, he's going, he's going for it. See, okay, yeah, this way. Don't, don't what? Danger, don't, no. Okay, let's go, let's go. It said something on the wall, but oh my god. Danger. Stop. That's what it says on the wall there. Oh. Oh. Whoa. Oh my god. Let me go. <laughs> Turn back. No. They wrote it everywhere. They were very They thought it was very important. Oh no.
I didn't know what I was supposed to do there. I was trying to jump up on the thing. It's too early to die. Okay, no need to shame me. Stupid, it was too early to die. You're supposed to die later, don't you know that? <laughs> I'm like... I'm like going back and forth, <laughs> trying to figure out when, when his spawn point is. Okay, we're gonna do this in one... One fell swoop. Yeah, I see you, yeah. Good luck catching me, buster. Oh, I know which way to go ahead of time. I'm a cheater. How can you beat a cheater, huh? I'm not even gonna look behind me. Do I wanna look behind me for the thumbnail? Yeah, sure. I'm not doing it though. There he is. Hi. <laughs> okay, okay, go, 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 go. Oh, come on. It's not even moving. Oh, it is moving, actually. Okay. All right, what am I supposed to do? He fell out of the tree and hit every branch on the way down, huh? Something tells me that's not the last we'll see of Huggy. Ooh. Hey, there's the flower! It said to find the flower. Here we go. I don't really understand why we're doing this. Do we have like a family member that died at the factory or what? Red and blue here. Yeah, interesting. You know, I never got that pink tape! Or the yellow tape. Oh. Not a 100% run, am I right? No, stop, go back, danger, turn around, no, run. Whoever this was, they brought... They brought blue, red, and yellow paint. And they wrote the same messages in different colors. It's very important to them to, to leave an artistic mark like this. They couldn't just do it all in one, one color. Oh, what is this? Okay, now it looks like an indie horror game all over again. It's been looking great up until now, but now it looks like <laughs> the type of stuff I play on Itch.io all the time. All the free games I have to go through for random horror game videos. Uh, let me guess, the hallway loops. They won't do that though. But it's got that vibe. It's got that looping hallway vibe to it now. Hey, I want to go back there. Get out of the way. Push. Just gotta stick, stick my hands on everything. Get my grubby mitts all over this place. Okay, so you got a dollhouse, you got a toy chest. Was someone living here? Red means scary, y'all. Let's go. It's Poppy. The living doll. Is that a good thing? Is that a good thing or a bad thing? What? Is that a good thing or a bad thing? Well, how about that? Five people worked on the story? Okay, one, two, three, four, five. Uh, so five people, six, seven? Seven, not including voice actors, eight, nine. I'm counting how many people are involved. Um, okay, so not a solo job, but I, I figured that. After I saw uh, Huggy move around, I was like, okay, definitely not a solo job. Which a lot of the indie horror games I play are solo devs, so it made sense to wonder how many people were involved. Uh, yeah, at, at least two dozen people involved in this, which makes sense. Um, okay, let's get the good, uh, good feedback out of the way. First of all, uh, very impressive, just from a technical perspective, like, it's been a while since I've played an indie horror game that looked and sounded this good. Just the production quality is like off the charts, great. Um, with that said, it does make me a little wary because this appears to be the latest entry in the what I would call mascot horror genre. Um, 
it, it's the long line that began with Five Nights at Freddy's and extended into Bendy and the Ink Machine, Baldi's Basics, etc. All the games like that. It does seem like it's set out from the get-go um, with visions of having merchandise in Target uh, and and all that comes with it. It's it's set to blow up. You know, it's set to be trendy. I just hope, and I don't mind that. I don't mind that, to be clear. Um, because you know, do what you gotta do. You gotta get, uh, you gotta get money somehow. And if this is your ticket, then it's your ticket. But I just don't want the game to suffer. So I'm really impressed by chapter one. I really enjoyed it. Um, I'm hoping that future chapters will continue in the same vein because that, the reason I bring this up is because I was really impressed by Bendy chapter one as well. And then as it went further along, I was less and less impressed by it. And I hope that's not the case with this one. Uh, but yeah, you know, big props to the creators. I'll be sure to play the, the preceding chapters whenever they come out. I wouldn't miss it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this too. Very impressive little short 20, 30 minute experience, whatever this was. And yeah, let me know what you guys thought about Poppy Playtime in the comments and I will see you guys in the next video. Think critically.